Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Great Malabite Efeni. Time for the Malabite Show. Good morning, Emmanuel. <laughs> good morning, Ruben. Good morning. Ayo, good morning, Rufa. Mr. Efeni, I'm still waiting for implication. Please just wait, be patient. <laughs> we go straight to the newspaper review. We start with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. The lead story, Tinubu sacks all service chiefs, IG, CG customs, advisors, appoints Bala Usman, Musawa, Gomer, Ibrahim, others, SAs, dissolved boards of parastatus agencies, government-owned companies. Now, the new service chiefs, acting IG and CG customs, of course, it was just a matter of time. The outgoing immediate past uh, service chiefs, since the day the president was sworn in, they knew they were just like, uh, it was just a matter of time. They knew that retirement was beckoning. And if uh, the former president once said, I appoint people I trust, and you cannot transfer that trust, Bola Ahmed Timbu, our president, of course, as the commander in chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, had to appoint his own service chiefs. And the men he has picked, Major General Christopher um, uh, Musa, as uh, the chief of defense staff from Kaduna State, is from Zango Kataf local government area. And of course, he was raised and school is schooled in Sokoto State. He is the chief of uh, defense staff. Major General Taurid Abiodu. Lagbaja, yes, Lagbaja, familiar name, you will say. Oshun State born until disappointment was the GOC 1 division. A brilliant soldier, you will say, because he has his PSS dagger, which means he passes staff college with distinction. So you want to say it, it, a nice feat for the army until his appointment, he was in charge of operations forest uh, sanity, internal security operation. And of course, the chief of Nava staff, Rear Admiral Emmanuel Ikechuku. Yes, I don't know why they did not emphasize that immediately uh, to allow some people to start grumbling. Emmanuel Ikechuku Ogala, chief of Nava staff. A first class brain also will be taking charge of the Navy, while AVM, um, H.B. Abubanka, who is from Shinono, local government area of Borono State, um, uh, the chief of air staff, air, Marshal, air vice marshal Hassan Bala Abubanka, chief of air staff, D.I.G. Kayode Egbetoko, the acting inspector general of police. Of course, we remember uh, his very recent assignment. It was the D, no, AIG in charge of the governorship and House of Assembly elections in River State. Of course, come a long way with President Bola Metinubu was his ADC when he was governor and never lost touch with his boss. Today, he's the, A, he's the um, Inspector General of Police designated, if you say, of course, pending the confirmation by the National Assembly, and he will be in that position. Of course, he was promoted less than three months ago to the position of uh, DIG, and today is uh, the Acting Inspector General of Police. And Adeneji Bashir, the Acting Controller General of uh, Customs, yes, quite an interesting uh, one because he's been recognized for his good works as a customs officer over time. On January 2020, he won the Controller General of Customs Award for seizure of 8 billion six sixty-five thousand and six hundred and twelve naira um, or dollars. Dollars, yes, a seizure at the in Motara Mohammed International Airport, and of course. President Muhammadu Buhari um, gave him the uh, national honor of uh, the Order of the Federal Republic. And, of course, the other story there, uh, Nuhu Ribadu, 
now the um, national security advisor. I asked you, Ruben, the other day, security advisor. What of the position of the national security advisor? Now we know the same person. Perhaps Bola Metumu was testing the waters with that initial appointment. But other newspapers reported this story, and we just rushed through quickly. The Guardian newspaper, Aplos, as Tinubu Fire Service Chiefs, why the Nigerian Tribune, uh, Tinubu Retire Service Chiefs, IGP, CG Customs, names Ribadu NSA. But another story, Daily Sun newspaper, I just leave the uh, lead story. Presidential Election Tribunal, INEC Amazon. Engineer, INEC, Amazon engineer, clash on non-transmission of results. There was no network glitch, says engineer. Network failure responsible, insists Electoral Commission. Of course, reporting proceedings from the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. Now, the New Telegraph newspaper, one story there below the photograph, CJN to judges. Many high-profile cases come with irresistible gifts, urges them to avoid Offerings that can put them in trouble. I never compromise my oath of office, says Justice Bukachua. Yes, the woman who served diligently but was almost put, almost being put in trouble by her loquacious husband. Well, we seem to be running out of time, but two quick things. The first one has to do with these airlines, IATA, I think they call them increasing airfares, mm. and they say this is as a result of the harmonization of the foreign exchange market. Now, very soon now, many families will not be able to go for summer. They will not be able to go anywhere. You will go because, to the village. Because airfares will not be <laughs> affordable any, any longer. In the midst of all of this, they say there is now VAT on diesel. 7.5% mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that that is what on diesel. No, if the government PMS has gone up, Diesel, we have added back to it. Mm -hmm. Now, I saw one uh, advertisement <laughs> here. Uh, discos are saying they want a stakeholder summit in July. The trick is because they want to further increase uh, electricity bills. It's bad enough now. Some of us now are having to go and buy lanterns <laughs> because to use electricity <laughs> is going to become impossible uh, yes, in this country. Yes, so sir. the poor man... He's suffering. The poor is getting poorer. Oh, no, but I will keep saying this. Since you have mentioned the number of the economy, the poor is getting poorer. What concerns the poor man with FN? No, but what of electricity? Okay. What of diesel? What of diesel? No, diesel. I think the manufacturers who spend a lot of diesel to power their power uh, their generators. We increase prices. Will increase now. Price. SMEs are And the passes on to the poor. But we, the ordinary people, we, the ordinary people, people are crying. We, we are not not the Look at the streets now. Reality. People can't buy fuel. You are, cry on the you are crying on behalf of the ordinary people of Nigeria. <laughs> on the elite. Ruben, to put it pro in proper perspective. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, no, no. I'm crying because I'm an ordinary Nigerian.